another tips and tricks for today. Uh, the tips and tricks number nine, the glass effect. So what if your project has a glass facade like this one? How, how are you going to light this properly? Because the light will just pass through the glass and it will not create that much effect if you did not light it properly. So for example, uh, like this one, this is a glass, but you can see those lights, the blue lights. So how are you going to do that in Photoshop? Another example here. For example, this one. Uh, no, this is not so much glass, glass facade. If it is diffused, it's fine. It's easy to achieve if it's diffused. But if it's a clear glass, like for example, like this one. Yeah, you can see this is a clear glass. So how are you going to light it up? How are you going to use Photoshop to light a facade like this one? So let's go and do it. So I've selected a few pictures here now. So let's go and open it with Photoshop. And again, let's go and copy this one. And But before you do and drag the Control L, Make sure you copy it first. Let's go and use this lasso tool. Select the glass. Okay, you don't need to do that because uh, at the bottom it's so much diffuse. But here it's clear. So let's press backspace and include the bottom. There, may, there might be speed lights from there. So let's go and select it. Once you see the circle, click and then copy. So once you selected it, you can now just control L and then put the slider on that. There you go. And make it darker here also. Yep. Okay. So now you have your layer one, which is your glass. This is where we're going to do the facade lighting. So go and select the few panels first because for example, you're going to place your linear light here and also here, then it should be a separate uh, glowing effect. But if you can do in one shot, like a straight one here, then uh, yeah, you can cut it in one full panel here. So let's go and do it now. Either you cut it separately or you just um, select it as a separate panels. So let's so go and select it as separate panels. So go here and select it here. And then go to your filter, render, lighting effects. And for this one, we will use, for example, a blue light. So go and press this one the thumbnail and select your blue light drag your slider here and select the blue say ok and then place your lights here and make sure that yeah it will have enough blue light to the to the glass so let's preserve 35% for now and see how it looks in um, in this presentation and let's play with the negative okay I think uh, 10 is okay and then the under will be maybe 2 okay let's just preserve the 0 okay and then click okay now you can see the difference now between the glass without the lighting effect and with effect okay if you can go and slide the control L so you can check it more and then drag the slider with the white yeah so you can play with it like this okay yeah so I think this is fine and then go to the other one again and light it up so just the lasso tool again select it like that and then okay so this is the problem because I did not cut it so I think there will be an effect on the side of this one so but let's just go and 
do it so filter render lighting effect and then just place properly your light and then click ok then again control l to play with this uh, glass Okay, you can do it in one shot together or you can do it individually so yeah say okay and then control D to deselect so now you can see the effect of the light and if if it's if this area is too small you can either um, select this one as one shot if you can do that and then filter and then render and then lighting effects and then you can just increase the size of this one because the picture is so small now it will cover everything and then click OK so play with the control L and then drag the lights there okay this is not good because it's so even so cancel and then backward and let's do it like a separate like three pieces here yep and then the remaining will be a separate one filter render lighting effects okay and then place your lights there okay downward here then press okay there you go and then play with the control L and drag it oops there you go okay so you can just uh, check if it's too much too much or not so it should blend together then press ok and deselect so you can see the difference now between this one and this one so you either do it the control L in one shot or separately so okay let's try it again control L and drag it more play with the light okay so see the difference and yeah that is too blue should at least it should have a gradient effect of blue here from top to bottom so yep so that's how you play with your glass facade and let's try other projects okay so I have another one project here so open Photoshop and we will try to copy this um, where is my red glass facade I saw there is one yeah okay here this one you can see this the, the light the red light from inside highlighting this atrium so we will try to copy oh my god it's so red we will try to copy this one and let's see how we'll how we will do it in photoshop so okay now i open this file now let's go and copy and then let's crop one by one this window so for example i will start with this one press lasso here or l and then crop the window the secret in photoshop is cropping so be very patient in cropping because this is then right click and then copy now you have new layer again go to background copy and crop another one window here and then right click and copy again and go back to crop background copy again and then crop another window so if you have so many windows then it's a big problem because you need to crop everything and then copy and for example you want to add one more um, lights inside this window you can just go and copy this uh, crop this one then right click and then copy so another this one because you can see it's up to here is a window it's a glass so just crop and crop oops if you made a mistake backspace and then and then close and then copy and for another one here maybe you want to add this one 
Oh, okay. So, I think this is part of the glass facade. So, I think I made a mistake. I should have covered everything like this. So, let's go and select this one for a while. Because it should be like this, I think. Okay. So, plan your cap crapping first before you proceed. Because, yeah, I made a mistake, mistake here. So, you can either... So, let's go and select the background copy and control L for a slider so make it dark now okay so it's dark now and then we will select this one the first layer control press control and then the thumbnail so it will be selected and then filter render lighting effects for this time we will select the red one and press ok and then make it brighter red let's say 60 okay there you go and then increase the diameter of the circle if it's necessary here okay there you go then press okay now it's red so i think we need to have more lights at the top so control z filter render lighting effects and make it full blown red or you can adjust the positive here uh, no same it should be 15 and what about under okay let's just make it zero and how about the beam okay okay I think we can have this beam into 50 and then full red then press ok now we have our red lights there but you can see there's a shadow we should have erased this one beforehand ok and then go to the layer number 5 press control sorry uh, layer number 5 press control and then click the thumbnail and then filter or just apply this control F now you have it again on the layer 4 let's select and then control L sorry control tab select not control l control tab layer and then control f now you have it here and then go to layer 3 press control and select the tab and then control f there you go and for the layer 2 same with that control f and then this one control f and then control D to deselect. Now you can see the effect of the red light. You can com combine all of this by pressing the first layer and then press the shift key and then select the up layer 6 and then right click and then merge layers. So it will become one layer. So when you select control select tab, it will be selected like that. And then you can now control L and play with the light. So you want to extend more here or in the middle and yeah so now we can see that the effect of this red is achievable in Photoshop so that's it and see you again later if you want to learn more about Photoshop facade lighting design go to www.nrocolightingdesign.com and enroll now in our facade lighting design techniques online training see you